Hi friends, welcome back. In previous sessions, we have discussed how to consume web API in ASP.NET Core MVC and how to read the data and how to insert the data. We have explained with examples. In today's session, we are going to perform update functionality. Whenever user clicks on this edit hyperlink, it will display the edit form and user can update the data. This is our table which we are using to perform the CRUD operations and I am going to open the consume web API which we used for previous sessions. I am going to open controller. This is the product controller which we consumed our web API. This is the API URL and here we are passing the base address along with the controller name and action name. For update the data here I am going to create one action method. This will be get method. Here based on product ID we have to load the data for that I am going to pass input parameter as ID here I am declaring product view model So we have to pass the ID to fetch the product details. Here I have to pass HTTP client and it will be get async. Here we have to pass the base address. Here we have to pass the action name also. We will see the action name inside our web API controller. This is our product controller. So this is the action method name. I will copy this and here I am going to pass it. Along with this we have to assign the ID. Here we will get the response from the API. Here we have to check success status code. If it is if it is true here we are going to deserialize the JSON data. I will get the data as response dot content. Here I will assign the deserialized data. For that I am going to use JSON convert. Here I am going to deserialize our JSON format data to product view model. Here we have to pass data to deserialize. So once it is status code is success, we have to assign this product view model to our view. Here I am going to create a view for edit the data. Right click on the action method, add view. If you are not aware of how to consume web API inside MVC application, please watch my previous videos. We have explained the process in previous sessions. So I am going to share the video links in the description. Here I am going to select razor view to create edit form add. Here I am selecting template edit. Here we have to select model class that is product view model. Click on add. So here we are using the scaffolding for uh, view creation. 
we are not going to design manually so that we can save time so view has been created here instead of this product view model I want to display this title here I'll make it as edit product now we are able to read the data based on the product ID and we are going to display inside this edit view form so now once it is updated we have to post the data to API again for the updation for that I'm going to create one more action method here which is going to be HTTP post here we will receive the data in product view model now here this model we have to serialize into JSON format for the updation here we have to pass the model for serialization here we are receiving data in product view model this data we are serializing into JSON format here we have to pass the data along with the encoding type it is going to be UTF 8 and here we have to pass the type of data here it is going to be JSON here we will get the response from API here it is going to be put so in our case we are updating the data here we have to pass base address to the HTTP client and then here we have to pass the controller name and also we have to pass the action name so we will check the action name inside the API for the update so it is going to be put so along with this we have to pass the content also here we will get the result here we have to check what type of response we are getting here if is status code is true then I am going to redirect to action method it is going to redirect to index view uh, here one more thing we have to do we have to keep this block inside try catch block so that if there is any unhandled exception we can handle easily snippet surround with also here we have to display the error message in previous sessions already we have discussed how to pass the error message in temp data so same thing we are going to use it in this update form also here we have to define exception I'm going to pass exception message here here I have to pass the 
key name for error message we are going to handle globally inside our shared folder same thing I'm going to use it here also so this is the this is the error message I'm copying this key value and I'm going to paste it here suppose if it is updated successfully then again I'm going to display the success message here and here I'll pause message as success message that also we can take it from here so this is a message which we are going to display to the user so this content also we have to keep inside try catch so I'll copy this one I'll paste it here now we have completed both get and post method for update the data I'm going to index and whenever user clicks on this hyperlink edit so we have to pass the primary key value here we are not going to use details here we are going to perform only crowd operations here I'm going to pass ID that is product ID we are going to pass it this one I can make it as ID here for delete also I'll use the same thing so anyway we are going to implement delete functionality also that's it we'll run the application now both our api and mvc applications are loaded i'm going to call product controller here here we are going to update one product i'll click on edit so we are going to update the product which is having id as 1006 edit so here only id is loading we are not able to get the data like product name price and quantity and i will check the api once by pausing this so this is the action method try it out i'll execute this here data is loading perfectly some way something is missed yes we missed something here we'll check the get functionality uh, this is the base address base address is api okay api slash product slash get okay it should be slash id okay okay it should be slash id that is what uh, we are not getting the data i'll make it as slash now i think we will get the data perfectly i'll run the application i'll call the product controller i'm going to edit now yes now the data is loading perfectly and i'm going to make it as instead of tv i'll make it as something and the price I'm changing 55,000 and I'll make it as 80 I'll save the data product details updated this is the data we entered so we have updated the data check the DB whether this data is updated inside our products table so this is our product table earlier we had TV and 42,080 is quantity I'll execute this select query so it is updated in the DB also. So like this by consuming Web API, we can update the data in ASP.NET Core MVC application. That's it for today. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.